Welcome to Ionizer Research. I'm Bob, the Ionizer guy, with some more information for your consideration. Today we have the two top selling water ionizers in the world and the two most sold after companies. We have the Enagic SD501 Level Luck, also known as Kangen, and we have the MMP11 Turbo Water Ionizer from Tyne USA. Today we're just going to do a quick comparison, go over some of the components inside of the machines, and uh, the first thing I want to start off with is the uh, filtration. Uh, the filters in the Enagic SD501, it's a single stage filter, uh, basic carbon filter. Um, Tiant machine, you're going to have dual filtration, so you're going to have two filters found in the rear of the machine. Um, filtration, it, this, this part's pretty simple, as you've seen in previous videos that I've done. Two filters are always going to beat out one filter, uh, depending on the size. And in this case, you know, there is two very large filters in the Tiant machine. Um, the Enagic machine has one moderate size filter, so that part's pretty easy. The Enagic SD501 has seven solid titanium plates, and in the MMP11 turbo water ionizer, you're gonna find 11 plates, solid mesh hybrid. Now, the, uh, the difference between the solid and the solid mesh hybrid is in the solid mesh hybrid plates, you're gonna have electrolysis distribution holes drilled through the plate systematically, which will give you the advantage of a mesh plate, but also the durability and the structure of a solid plate. Seems like a lot of the companies are moving in this direction. In my opinion, it's a good idea because it is one of the biggest advancements in water ionizer technology uh, that I can remember. So um, that wraps up the plates. Uh, next thing I want to touch on is the, uh, the power supplies. The, the major differences between an SMPS power supply like you see on the Tiant unit versus the transformer on the Enagic. Uh, and it, it's, a very, it's a very big thing the SMPS power supply is fully adjustable, meaning that on this unit, you're gonna get uh, 55 adjustable settings. So when you go into alkaline one, alkaline two, or alkaline three, you're gonna be able to adjust those levels up or adjust them down according to the mineral content in your source water. Um, the, the, the basic transformer that you're gonna find is an older technology. Basically, what you see is what you get. When you turn your machine on, you hit 9.5, you might be getting a 9.5, you might not be. Okay, so there you have it. A look inside the two top selling water ionizers in the world, the Tyne MMP11 and the Enagic SD501. Uh, as with all comparison videos that we do, there always has to be a winner. In this case, for 2014, it's the Tiant MMP11. Uh, if you've seen the video, you've seen the components that are inside these machines, you probably already know why. Uh, quick recap, Tiant has two very large filters versus one for the Enagic. Tiant has more plates, more power, a better consistent power supply with the SMPS Plus. Um, one is a multi-level marketing company, one is not. So the cost is going to be down with the Tiant machine. Uh, the warranty, lifetime, unlimited versus a five-year limited. Uh, even the aesthetics part of it. If you remodeled your kitchen in the last 30 years, a Tiant machine will probably look better in your kitchen. So um, the one last thing that's the most important part is Tiant is chemical free. Why spend all this money on a machine if you got to add chemicals just to achieve the levels that you're looking for? doesn't make sense to me. So uh, once again, I'm Bob the Ionizer Guy from Ionizer Research and I work for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.